Hi everyone. So recently I saw a viral video showing the crochet long tail cast on. Now this is something I've used for my knitting, but I was really intrigued to see a crochet version and it looked really promising. So here's a little video to show you how to do it. The crochet long tail cast on uses both the tail end and the yarn end to create a really flexible foundation row. The first thing to think about though is how long does your tail need to be? Because if you're working through that tail, well, it's a bit of a disaster if you run out before you've got all your stitches cast on. So we're gonna first of all look at our hook and do a little bit of maths. Now I've got some Aran yarn here or worsted weight and it requires a five millimeter hook. Now with any cast on, I always recommend that you move up a hook size just to create an extra bit of flexibility. So here we've got a six millimeter hook. It's six millimeters because the diameter is six millimeters. That means it's six millimeters across from here to here. When you wrap your yarn around, we're wrapping around the circumference. Now to work out the circumference of the wrap, you need to multiply the diameter by pi, and pi is 3.14. So if we have a look here, we take the hook you're using for your cast on, so in this case, a six millimeter hook, we're going to multiply it by 3.14. That tells me that the circumference, the distance around the hook is 18.8 .8 millimeters. Now we want to um, say cast on 15 stitches, so we multiply that by 15, and that tells us we'll need 282 millimeters of yarn. Now, centimeters is a little bit more practical, so if we just divide by 10, it tells us we need 28 centimeters. It's always good to round up, so about 30 centimeters, give or take. So we'll use exactly 30 centimeters to create our 15 stitches. Don't forget though, that you always need to leave a tail for sewing in um, and also just a little bit of leeway. So I like to leave maybe a, a 15 centimeter tail. So 30 plus 15 is 45 centimeters. And that should work nicely for our long tail cast on. So at 45 centimeters from the end, we are going to make a slip knot. There we go and you're going to pop it on to your hook. Remember, you're using slightly bigger hook for a more flexible cast on. You should put the yarn in your hand. So this is the ball end, and this is the tail end, the tail at the front. And a little bit counterintuitively, we're going to wrap over from the front. And now we've got two loops, and then we'll yarn over as normal and pull through just like a double crochet. Yarn over from the front, from the back, and pull through. From the front, from the back, and pull through. So you can already see that we're creating a thicker, flexible chain. And you're gonna keep working. Now, the one thing to watch out for is that if you pull this front uh, tail end a little bit too tightly, it'll start to curl around. So make sure that you're working nice and freely. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Always making sure that you bring them back onto that wide bit of the hook so they don't get tightened. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There we go, 15 stitches, a lovely flexible chain, and a tail, which if we have we measure, is just about 15 centimeters as promised. The beauty of this chain though, is you can see that it's got Vs on one side and the other side, so it's a, a lot more 3D than a typical, just regular chain stitch. We're going to now 
take off our bigger hook and return. We're going to return to our normal project size hook of five millimeters. I'm going to work a row in UK double crochet, so that's US single crochet. Yarn over and pull through for our turning chain and turn. And now you can see, looking into the back of that row, you can see those beautifully defined holes ready to go. Our first row is going to be a dream. Normally it's the worst row of a project. So I'm going to work into the first stitch we made, insert. And already you can see you've got two strands over your hook like a normal stitch. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over through two. Work your double crochets all the way along. They go in so easily. You've already got that lovely natural hole to work in. Just like a foundation double crochet, but I must say this technique is so much easier. In we go. Perfect. All the way along to the end. First row complete. So painless. And look at that, beautifully flexible. So I totally recommend, try the crochet long tail cast on. Don't forget to do your little bit of maths at the beginning to work out how long your tail should be. And let me know how you get on in the comments. Take care everyone. Hi, this is Fiona. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, why not subscribe below to make sure you get all my videos as they're released. Check out all my latest news on Facebook too, at Fiona Mead Crochet.